Hey guys, it's Jazzy Ray and I'm back with another reading. Today I am reading Trayvon. I actually know Trayvon in person. Um, he hit me up on Snapchat. I go to school. Well, I did go to school with him because he graduated. But um, he requested to do a birth, time, birth chart. Now his birth chart is a little different because he doesn't have his birth time, which is fine. The birth time just tells you what your rising is. So and, until he gets that birth time, we just gotta have to work with what we, what we got. So Trayvon, this is for you. Um, oh universe, please guide me into guiding Trayvon, please. Um, if you guys would like a birth chart reading or a life path number reading, let me know. I got you. Hit me up. Descriptions are below or if you follow me, hit me up. Um, anyway. So, I'm going to take this camera because, like I said, I'm not editing nothing. It is what it is. I don't know if you can see that, Trayvon, but that's your chart. Sun is in Aries. Moon is Gemini. Mercury is Taurus. Venus is Aries. And Mars is Virgo. And when I calculated this, I had a feeling. I said, watch. When his chart comes up, he's either going to have more masculine energy or his energies are going to be balanced. And I was motherfucking right. Excuse my language. I was right. <laughs> so. Um, without further ado. We're going to get started. So your sun sign is who you are. Your overall personality. So you are an Aries. Um, Aries, I'm gonna try not because I did it. I did somebody's chart and she was it. Josie, you met her at the Western campus when we were working on our project. She's an Aries too. I did her chart. She didn't like some things I said, but I'm just picking up. I, I read this book and that's what the book said. That's what the book said. Like, so the pros of being an Aries. Um, first of all, Aries is a masculine sign. Um, the element is fire. Um, I don't know if you know about mutable, cardinal, and fixed signs. Um, mutable signs are Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, and Sagittarius. Um, fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. And cardinal signs are Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, and Libra. So you are a, your quality is cardinal, which basically means you're about that action. You are a hard worker. You don't play around. You, when you work hard, you work hard. You, deter, you are determined to be the best at what you do. Okay, fixed signs is like you don't have to keep up with a fixed sign. You kind of already know their moves and they stick to one thing unless they want to change it. You know, mutable signs, it's going to be hard keeping up with a mutable sign. Um, but anyway, so Aries. Um, your polar your polar opposite is Libra, and they say you're supposed to like marry your polar opposite. I don't believe that bo that BS. <laughs> I don't believe that BS. No, 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 no. Um, what else about Aries? Um, let's see, because I write stuff down. Um, your ruler is Mars, which Mars is um, it represents anger, aggression, sex. Okay, that's what it represents. And your likable trait, I would say, if I can remember it, your courage. You ain't scared of nothing. Okay, so Aries, the pros of being an Aries. Um, you're determined. Um, you, um, let me think. You're determined. You're a hard worker. Um, you never miss a beat never miss a beat you go to work you know you're not really focused on anything else you focus on getting the job done um y'all are loyal aries say what y'all want aries are extremely loyal um they are loyal until they can't be loyal anymore meaning if you do something to an aries they're done like like, like if you betray them they're done um aries also they're quick quick learners they quick they get anything done they want everything quick everything quick they 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 have like if 
if you want something done right do it yourself was less was a zodiac sign it would be aries the downsides to being an aries now this doesn't have to apply to you but this is just the downside give you a gist um they rush they rush things i don't i don't, I don't, I don't know they rush things like aries and taurus can never date because Terry's is Terry's <laughs> Taurus is slow it's the same thing but they're slow <laughs> okay um, they're competitive but they're not necessarily competitive with other people they do compete with other people but they're mostly competitive with themselves Taurus not Taurus um, Aries like if they they don't want to feel like failures so when they feel like failures they kind of like get mad at everybody, but it's because they it's it's, in a, it's internal and they take everything out on themselves. Um, they can be aggressive. They can be aggressive. Some I I, I feel like y'all have no problems with being assertive, but sometimes you may go too far. Your anger will go too far, and then you become aggressive. They're never passive in situations. They can be, but they're usually not. Um, that's pretty oh they sometimes they can be controlling um they don't like to be controlled by other people but they like to be controlling lots of them say they don't like to be controlled sometimes they come off as controlling because they are natural born leaders they are the they are the oldest of the zodiac so they are natural born leaders you know leader of the pack then they're, they're not followers um your moon is gemini your moon represents your emotions See, Gemini is a whole nother ball game because Gemini doesn't really express emotions. In fact, Geminis look at people. <laughs> First of all, Gemini is also a masculine sign. The element is air. Um, the quality is mutable. Um, the polar opposite is Sagittarius. The ruler is Mercury, which is the planet of communication. Um, and I guess their likable trait would have to be responsiveness because they got big mouths Gemini's have big mouths but we're not really expressive unless you have like fire or water in the chart you're not really expressive um, you can be but you gotta be careful with Gemini's because when you piss them off they have razor sharp tongues and they will say the worst things just for revenge it's like it's kind of like a scorpio but it's you know it's different um so gemini is not really like they don't really express their emotions like that they do but it's like it, it takes the, the it takes it depends on the person and the situation because it takes the, that right person to piss gemini off or to bring that emotion out of gemini so Gemini's like to have fun. They don't really like to argue. They hate arguing. They love debating, but they don't like to argue. Like I'm a Gemini. I hate arguing. For what? <laughs> For what? It's stupid, especially over something stupid. You know, Gemini's like to have fun, positive vibes, because when Gemini is having fun, everybody's having fun. If Gemini got an attitude problem, which yeah, that's probably Again, with Gemini, you never know, but you know they can be expressive, but they usually they don't really express their emotions like that, like that, um, unless they wake up on the wrong side of the bed or the right person tried them. They don't, they don't, you know. We like to have fun, man. So if it's like if we feel good, then everybody feels good. If we feel bad, then everybody feels bad. It, it is what it is, um, and it's Gemini season, so. Um, your Mercury is Taurus. Oh, we got the same Mercury. This would be nothing. So, Mercury, again, is how we communicate. Taurus is a feminine sign. Um, it's a fixed sign. Um, it is an Earth sign. And um, it's polar opposite Scorpio. And um, the plan is Venus, the plan of love. Libra and, and um, Taurus same, share the same um, planet. Also, Gemini and Virgo share the same planet. Um, hold on for just a second. My dog is acting up. So 
sorry about that I'm back but um but yeah Mercury um Taurus um polar opposite is um Taurus um what else did I did I forget actually no I didn't forget anything so the likable trait of Taurus is um dependable um so your Mercury is Taurus which it doesn't you know that's not Taurus's ruler but Taurus's love deep communication they love having deep conversations about life spirituality they can literally take anything and make it into a deep conversation and we share the same that's crazy we share the same tour the same mercury sign then when we did our project together we were talking talking about our stories we had similar stories that's insane to me you know that's crazy it's almost like we were we were kind of meant to be like this <laughs> we were kind of meant to be like this but um so you're a great communicator you, you, you um love deep convos that the problem with Taurus sometimes is because Taurus can be opinionated and we not changing our opinions unless we want to change our opinions um we would it's a never-ending argument with a Taurus don't uh uh especially if you have mercury as taurus um that's that's mm. <laughs> you don't want to argue with a taurus or someone or someone who has taurus in their chart because it doesn't matter what you say to a taurus you can tell it, the sky can be green and you tell taurus the sky is green taurus is going to believe that the sky is not green even if it's proof <laughs> You're not changing her. You're not changing the belief unless they want to change the belief. So, um, but they're very dependable, um, hardworking, um, like Aries, but the opposite because of like they're they're patient, they're slow and patient. Um, they can multitask just like Aries can, but Taurus take their time. Like Taurus is the type of sign that will write a book, and the book may take three years for it to be completed so they believe like if step by step and pace by pace patience wins the race was a sign it'll be taurus so your venus is aries um so venus in love aries in love aries venus is how we love and how we how we want to be loved and what attracts us so aries is a hard work aries is quick aries is is brave Aries is basically everything I said in the beginning. They want a partner that's just like that. Now, how Aries are in love? They're actually the opposite. They're not aggressive. They act. They're actually passive when they're in love. It actually comes off kind of cute. So you're probably like adorable because like Aries are so adorable when they're in love. So sweet, loving. Um, they want a partner that can keep up with them, and they don't really like routine so if you're doing the same thing over and over and over you know Aries will lose interest and probably find someone else um they Aries I don't want to say they brag but they do they they kind of use that I'm a hard worker I make it's not even about the money but I'm a hard worker um I, 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 I'm a leader you know um, I keep everybody in line um, you know I ain't no follower out here translation I ain't no bitch out here <laughs> they use that as like their pickup line to pick up girls or guys because it applies to Aries women too um, that's pretty much the gist on that <laughs> because I'm pretty much explaining the same thing to you, but that's how Aries are in love. Like they loyal, extremely loyal, extremely loyal. Though Aries can be bad liars at times, so gotta watch out for that. Um, your Mars is Virgo. Mars is your sex, your anger, your aggression. It's your drive. It's how you get things done. So when you're thinking about relationships, you want to look at Venus and Mars. Um, your Mars is Virgo. Virgo is a feminist, and you have a lot of Earth. Um, Venus is a is a feminine sign. Um, it's an Earth sign. It's element. Like I said, it's Earth. <laughs> um, the quality is mutable, so you're all over the place. Um, 
your polar opposite is Pisces. And if I had to pick a light, oh yeah, and your planet is, your ruler is Mercury. I kind of already stated that already. But if I had to pick a likable trait, just because of my best friend's air, is it, is it, sorry, my best friend's a Virgo, <laughs> perfectionist, humble. Those are like the likable traits because I love Virgos. So, when it comes to Virgos, Virgos are perfectionists. They like to make sure everything is perfect, everything is right. They will stay up all night. If you got a school project, Virgo will stay up all night. If they care, they will stay up all night to make sure that that project is correct. Um, Virgos are extremely humble. Um, they are extremely humble, very realistic. Um, they are learners. They love to learn. Um, they get, I, I'm not going to say Virgos are followers, but they're literally like down for whatever. Um, when it comes to sex, Virgos are people pleasers. They like to please their partner and perfect the skill. So Virgo is the type of sign. If you're having sex with a Virgo, Virgo is going to constantly ask, do you like that? How about this? Do you like it like that? Because they want to know how you like it so they can perfect it each time they do it. See what I'm saying? Also, Virgo has a pretty pretty healthy sex drive. So, you good on that. And Virgos, it, as far as anger, they get angry. But it, it's like if you insult their craft or something like that, they're, they're angry. Like, Michael Jackson was a Virgo. It, take, it, it probably takes some, like... If you accuse them or something that they didn't do, that will make them angry. Um, Beyonce is a Virgo, you know what I mean? But, you know, but Virgos don't really, they pretty chill for the most part. It takes a lot for a Virgo to get angry. Not saying they don't, but it takes a lot for a Virgo to get angry. Um, so let's discuss your masculine and your feminine. Now, I'm going to describe this the best way I can. This does not mean anybody who watches this, if you have, let's say you're a woman and you have more masculine energy, this does not mean you want to be a man, okay? If you're a man watching this and you have a lot of feminine energy, this does not mean you want to be a woman. You got to look at the traits. This is about traits. So your masculine is seven and your feminine is three. Which means you're probably, even though I know you're smart, because you, like when we did our project, I don't know how to work Prezi. <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know how to work Prezi, but I can tell you're smart. But you're probably more physical than like, like pretty much like I guess how I'm trying to put it is you don't sit on your ass all day. You're always constantly doing things, and there may be times when you're very assertive. You know how to stand up for yourself. Um, and uh that's probably the gist of it because when you think masculine you gotta think masculine traits if you see your feminine energy you got a little bit of a nurturing spirit you got you got some nurture in you some nurturing energy in you some fatherly energy in you you know um but that's okay because you can work on being about some people are just because the goal is you want both energies to be balanced so it's okay if they're not because then you know what to work on once you have it explained to you, you know what to work on. You probably already know what to work on. You're kind of already into this stuff anyway. So, um, that's the goal. You want to be able to be, you want to know when to act in certain situations. You want to know when to be aggressive, when to be assertive, and when to be passive. Kind of like what we went over in class. So, that's what that means. So that is pretty much it for this birth chart if you guys want birth chart readings let me know if you want life path number readings let me know i hope this resonates with you um you can hit me up if it does and i'll see you when i see you bye bye